Welcome back to the I Paint Creatures YouTube channel. It's good to see all of you who visit this channel regularly, get some inspiration, some insight, and most of all, come with me on my artistic, fantastical journey through life. And today I'm showing you another one of these incredible uh, creatures that I had fun doing for several months all about taking me kind of out of my comfort zone and, and drawing new creatures with new features and I kind of based them all around gemstones and um, doing them in watercolor and ink and experimenting like I do in a lot of mixed media and I think they came out great I think I'm gonna start making some of these on huge canvases uh, the ones that I really like and today I'd like to talk to you about a Edgar Degas I think that's how you say his name the quote, drawing is not what one sees, but what one can make others see. And this is so dear to my heart because I truly believe uh, painting and drawing has all the same fundamentals of just being creative in life, not even doing the discipline of music or theater right or poetry or writing or novel writing just being a creative person and I don't know if any of you have ever felt that you know you've had things inside and how you see this world you feel kind of alone because others can't see it this is why you should draw and not draw specifically to make masterpieces or impress people but just get out of a pencil even if it's in your mind, a pencil or a pen in your mind, and start drawing and getting close and spend some time with yourself to see how you see the world. And remember that's very important. And I think the most incredible things that we can come across are from our unique ability to be exactly who we came to be and live in purpose and right on point. And part of it is not just always physically drawing and doing, you know, the arts, the visual arts, drawing, illustration, painting, but drawing, you know, to yourself your own. Drawing in your mind, thinking from, thinking forward, thinking into the distance and seeing it all complete and know you can do things that no one else in this world was meant to do and there's spaces for you to fill that no one else can fill. And so when you draw in your mind, you know, uh, judgment, or the higher level of, of judgment is discernment, right? And you're drawing in your mind, you're drawing conclusion, you're drawing, you know, things to familiar yourself with and make you connected to other people. And I think that's a major form of drawing. I don't know if Degas was really addressing that, but that's what I see in generally telling you all that works for me is I love to sketch and draw not with just a pencil and a piece of paper, but, you know, poetically in my mind. I love to freestyle poetry or do the original form of poetry was just letting it flow what's in your mind and trusting that, you know, what comes out of your mouth is the next thing to say. But that takes a lot of discernment, right? Because otherwise we would just kind of go on and babble on, like I like to call it. We live in Babylon, right? Babble on. And then you're not so in alignment with what you say and what you have to offer the world so make sure when you draw conclusions or you draw your judgment or even if you draw with a pen a crayon a pencil get out there and draw what you see and show the world how you see things and i think it was very appropriate for this this illustration i'm showing you right now because this is how i see fantastical musicians and and I see them very much an earth creature, like a lot of these gemstone creatures. Like this one has crystals coming out of his head, little dandelion. And then it looks like he has a gemstone that's reflecting the beautiful Mother Earth. And I believe Mother Earth does do this. When a lightning storm comes or beautiful sunset or you get to see a creature or a bird or a critter out in nature. Nature's always drawn for you. You know, what the whole planet sees is being a creature, you know, drifting through space. So make sure when you express yourself and you draw from within your mind, you draw on a piece of paper, make sure you show people what you see and that it's important and it's valued. 
and that's your purpose for being alive. So thank you for watching the video. I'll talk to you all real soon.